morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. My name is Callie, and this is another weekend of Clarinet's Catherine Coffee. So the A2 that I just played for you, or I guess the study that I just played for you, is from the Lefebvre 60 Exercises for Clarinet. It is available on public domain. You just got to search on around the internet. But if you are a patron or a channel member, I have already sent this to you, and you can just check the channel member tab or your Patreon account, and you should have it. Um, and I thought it would be a great little etude um, to practice what I like to call dynamic shaping. And um, so I think hmm, a couple weeks ago, I um, shared a study from the Colombian dance studies by Mauricio Mercia Bedoya. And um, I talked a lot about coordinating fingers and making sure that you're using legato air and playing with a really smooth, uh, smooth air column. And that study is mostly in the low register. And I think that's more of a test of endurance than anything else for myself personally. This one focuses more on the clarion register and you dabble in the altissimo every so often and so i think it has a lot of little challenges all packed in this this g major etude um so there are a lot of things you can do with this in terms of dynamic shaping and you can call it phrasing you can call it dynamic shaping whatever you want it, it, they kind of go hand in hand they're both a little bit different um, dynamic shaping refers to um you know making your your volume kind of go up and down with the with the way the line looks and phrasing has to do with your overall crescendo and decrescendo throughout the duration of the phrase and so in this you can do any number of things there's a lot of potential here i mean First of all, it's just basic, what, eight bar phrases? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so basic eight phrase chord progressions through each of these. And I like to take this a little bit quicker so I can um, hear the, how these chords kind of go with each other a little better. Um, but you can take it at whatever tempo you like because, you know, it's your etude and you get to practice it in whatever way you want, right? So. Um, I would suggest experimenting with a couple of things. So first, experiment with just going up and down with the shape of the line. So... something like that. And make sure your reed isn't dry, isn't dry like mine. Um, okay, so that's like basic dynamic shaping. Now that is cool until it becomes really repetitive and then it becomes just kind of boring and whatever. So you can do a little bit of dynamic shaping, which I believe I did when I played it for you a little while ago, but also keep in mind the overall structure of the chords and maybe put in eight bar phrasing instead of just like single bar phrasing up and down. So each measure can build on the previous one through the phrase and then of course you taper away. I built off of each measure and then came down a little bit in the last measure and a half. But you can do whatever you want. Experiment. Crescendo for two, decrescendo for four, crescendo, you know, up and down. This is your chance to experiment and figure out what sounds good to you and what, you know, makes musical sense. Now, you know, in general, when you're doing eight bar phrases, you want to make sure that you don't end with a bang because that would sound weird unless you're playing a Sousa March, right? So you want to have a gradual taper off at the end and a gradual crescendo at the beginning, but you know, experiment and see, see what works for you. 
And the other thing that will kind of help a little bit um, inform your musical decisions, um, the last tip I have, is to just bring out any little bits of chromaticism that might be in there um, and and uh, use those points of tension to emphasize um, certain harmonic changes in the music. So, like... So I hope you guys enjoy practicing those this week. Don't forget, I still have a Facebook group. So if you are not already a member, you can join. It's free to join at the link below. Record yourself playing this. Put it up on the site. There have been some really excellent comments from some really good teachers um, over the past couple of months. And um, some really great videos have been posted as well. So I hope to see more of you guys posting there. And thank you all so much for contributing to that. Have a wonderful weekend this week, have a good week next week, and as always, happy practicing.